I came to Gander in 1959 with my husband, who came to teach Latin, believe it or not, in the high school. And I came to teach grade six. I spent half my life on the farm, which is a place called Wall Cove, which is halfway between Morton's Harbor and Tizard's Harbor. It didn't give us any amount of money, and I mean cash. We had a good, good living, like we had cows and pigs, and I mean, a couple of horses. Uh, the ho one horse was used for work, the other two were ponies that belonged to my brother and I. There was little money to be had. It sort of came through osmosis. I saw it, you know, uh, all the time. My mother working in the garden, my father. He learnt, and my mother learnt from, from my grandfather, uh, how they uh, planted the potatoes. So they would keep the seed, and when they would dig them in the fall, the potatoes, they'd be sorted. And the nicest little potatoes that would be about that size, with nice shapes, and a number of eyes, I need one of the potatoes. So about this size, they would keep them, or a little smaller, but not too small, not like half of that. Make sure it's solid, not soft, because they, they would be all wrinkled, like this fellow's skin, because he's old, he's over, this one is past his time. And you look at them, and of course, as time went on, and a number of times you did this, you knew, you could look at them. And my grandfather would look down without a glance and without any glasses. He could see how many eyes. So these indentations that you see here are eyes. And you need, the, the rule is you need at least two. At least two. Because one may not, you know. But I uh, sometimes look for three or four. And they will sprout new. This is what they will sprout. And that's a different colored potato. So these will be kept, faithfully kept in a root cellar, uh, carefully looked after that the rats didn't eat them because that was their food for next year. Now, there's an area of thought today, and I've been told this, that you don't do it because it weakens the stock. Well, I am using the same seed out there in my little potato patch, the same seed that I brought with me to Gander in 1964. So personally, from my personal experience, it does not weaken the seed. This is my potato that I'm going to plant. And you can see that as I talked about before, we have three eyes, one, two, three. So now I'm going to cut it in two and I'll make two seeds from this plant, but just to be on the safe side, I'm not going to plant that one, because why? It only has one. So, I would dig my trusty hole in the ground, about three to four inches deep, and some fertilizer. You could use commercial fertilizer, or you could use manure or kelp. So you plant it in, eyes up, cover them up, and leave it be. Three weeks later, you will see those little eyes come through the ground. And that'll be your potato for next year. This one goes into your compost to be recycled into soil. And they can almost grow anywhere. I have a compost in which my scraps, potato scraps, will go in, the pea leaves will go into it. And I've actually seen potatoes growing in, in my compost. They're actually growing with stocks that high just from a potato peeling. So they're pretty resilient. When I started to do seriously, it was 1979, we bought a house in Eastport and it had a half acre of land with it. And I love to garden, I must say. I love, I love to grow flowers and I love to see things grow. My husband made a bin in which he insulated it and lined it with cardboard. And that's where I keep my potatoes. And when it gets really, really cold out, I have a light bulb and a 60 watt light bulb will keep it just at the temperature because they need to be kept at just below freezing. Otherwise, they become seed too early and you don't want them to become seed until at least May because you can't plant a new land till June. If you've got a, a back lawn, dig up a small square like uh, 24 by 24. It, that's inches. I don't deal centimeters before my time. And uh, uh, 
try potatoes because they're easy to grow. You will have to buy your seed because you don't have the advantage of that. Or maybe you might find some old biddy like me who will give you their seed, you know, that they had. And, and try it and see how, what you think of them. And start there and see if you like, number one, what comes out of it. If you get some pleasure out of doing it, and it also provides you with a lot of exercise. That would be my tip to, to younger people starting. And I think we're on a date and we're on a very slippery slope here of processed food. We've got the highest rates of diabetes uh, of any province in Canada. We've got the highest rates of obesity. And we're killing ourselves. So I really think that's a message that even if you did it on a little scale, it takes a bit of elbow grease and it takes exercise. But if you, if you enjoy it, not everybody will enjoy it, but there'll be some. And I think the quicker the better.